Nine News reporter Noel Brennan is live near that scene where police just gave an update. And Noel, we were hearing there they're looking for multiple suspects. Right, we don't know the exact number, Kim, but you're right, multiple suspects, and obviously investigators are out here working right now. This intersection is taped off. Multiple shots were fired in the shooting. In fact, if you look here at Noman 13th, there are still markers in the street here that are pinpointing those spots where they found shell casings out here. Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson, she spoke to reporters out here in the last hour, so here's what we know about the shooting. Happened about 1245 at Nome Park, just north of the high school. Six teenagers were shot. The youngest is 14, the oldest 18. All six are students at Aurora Central High School. Chief Wilson said one of the teenagers was in surgery, but all are expected to survive. Police believe it was a drive-by shooting and there may have been a shooter or shooters on foot. No suspects are in custody right now. We did speak to a man who lives right across the street from Nome Park, and he tells us he heard about 30 gunshots this afternoon. I was going to look out the window out of curiosity, but another wave of shots started happening. So then I just, you know, hit the, hit the ground, locked my door, and then as um, soon as the shots were done firing, I... Uh, that's when I got on the, I started calling 911, and that's when I had looked, finally looked outside and I seen one of the kids had got hit that was sitting at the bench over there. Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson said that all of the victims, their families are cooperating in this investigation. She's asking that anyone who knows something to come forward, especially if you have a ring camera that may have captured a piece of the shooting, Aurora Police could really use that in their investigation. The chief also said that her heart dropped when she heard the news of the shooting this afternoon. And I can imagine many parents and friends, family members of students at Aurora Central High School felt the same way. Our Mark Salinger is over at Aurora Central High School. And Mark, I understand you've been talking to some parents who are waiting to reunite with their kids. Yeah, Noel, students here at Aurora Central High School have just began getting released here over the last 45 minutes or so. Parents started gathering here outside the high school shortly after they found out with the shooting, but had to wait several hours to actually be reunited with their kids. I want to step out of the shot here and show you what the scene looks like right now. Most of the kids have already gotten to go home with their parents. The reunification process started around 315 this afternoon. Now, it was a scary afternoon as some parents and grandparents described getting texts from their kids and grandkids telling them they were hiding inside because there was a shooting outside. It's crazy. That's so, the feelings that we get, I mean, it's, it's bad. I mean, because to know, I mean, my granddaughter is in there. It's, it, it's crazy. It's crazy yeah, it for me. All of the students inside the high school are safe. Dozens of Aurora police officers responded around the school and SROs locked down all the entrances. You can see the hospital. You can see that the hospital that the teens were taken to is just across the street from the hospital, just across the street from the high school, not far at all that the drive that those ambulances had to make. Now tomorrow, Chief Wilson and the Aurora Police Department say that there will be extra officers on hand here at the school to make sure that everyone is safe and everyone Everyone has the resources that they need. Tom Mark, and Kim. Yeah, you referenced the school resource officers, and we heard Chief Wilson about 45 minutes ago talking about one of those resource officers applying a tourniquet from what she described as a life saving, saving. technique. Yep. So, a very important role played there today. All right, there's much more on this story throughout the next hour or so. We'll keep uh, checking back with you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark.